Turn it off. How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Glad to be here tonight. That's my new single. It's coming out April the seventh. It's an original comedy rap single. It's called Stripper Bitch. You know what I'm saying? Got to get a stripper some love. Cause them bitches be getting money. Fuck what y'all talking about. Them bitches pay bills. They got kids. They got mortgages and cars and shit. Fuck that. Pussy sale. If you ain't selling your pussy, you broke. I sell my pussy and do comedy. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. Just in case you didn't know, the motherfucker is on sale right now. For real, ladies. It's 2017. I like shopping. I love shit. And I can't get shit without money, and I can't get money without my pussy, so I'm glad they go together. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, y'all. They love, fuck love. You can't take love to T-Mobile. Walking there, they be like, oh, well, can we help you? <laughs> yes, I have some love. Security? <laughs> Just bitch out of here. We want your phone be on money. All right, ladies, fuck that. It's 2017. It's the millennial. All this bullshit, men, they fucking whoever they want to. That's why I do the same shit. <laughs> I fuck whoever I want to. You can watch. I don't care. You can be mad. You can text me all kind of fucked up emojis. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's about me. At the end of the day, when you die, ain't nobody gonna be there that you fucked. <laughs> Not even your husband. This nigga had your, his new bitch at the funeral. Yeah, I don't know that bitch. We was together 27 years. Both me and you together 27 years. I live in reality. This is a reality show. Comedy reality. I'm grown. I hope everybody else is in here grown. I'm gonna be talking some grown folk shit. If you uh, gotta go to church tomorrow, uh, you might wanna get up and go check in tonight. <laughs> This grown folk shit I'm about to say. And don't believe me, I'm very spiritual, lady. I'm raised, you know, Catholic, Protestant, something. Baptist, all of them, Christian. My mom believed in God. You know what I'm saying? My grandma believed in God. How many of y'all had that grandma used to sing the same song while she making them biscuits about six in the morning, boy? Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. You know what I'm saying? And wake all y'all up, all y'all rotten ass up at 620 and make you eat. We was them kids. Wake us up, we go eat and go back to sleep. That shit was delicious. You can't feed niggas pork chops and gravy and biscuits at 6 a.m. and expect them to stay up and function properly. Kool-Aid, lemonade, shit. You know, stay up. Fuck that, Granny. Wake me up at lunchtime. Yeah. I hate a lot of shit. Like kids. Mine, yours, everybody. Don't make no sense. I told my son, I said, you gotta move when you get 18. He was like, do I gotta move on my 18th birthday, nigga? You scheduled at 8 a.m.? <laughs> Check the calendar, nigga. Check the calendar. It's been on the refrigerator since you was 12, nigga. Since you was 12. In 20 motherfucking 17, nigga, you are out of here. You got a star right here. Right? You got a yeah, yeah. Fucking up my life for 18 years. Black people, black women, we be holding on our kids. Quit holding on them niggas till they 30. But they ain't shit. <laughs> right, see, you know. I think I'm laughing because he knows some niggas. It's about 14 homeboys that they, when they leave here, they go in their mama house. Niggas. <laughs> To a tree, nigga, run into a tree, do your mama a favor, and call her. Get some insurance when you leave here tonight. It's 24 hour insurance online. Get you some insurance tonight. You live with your mama and you over 18. If you night close to 19, kill yourself. You live with your mama. 
Cause you know, when you got boys, I got a son, you got boys, they start getting like 11, 12, they want to get up in the morning, walk out the room. <laughs> <laughs> to go use the bathroom and shit. You know what I'm saying? I told him, I said, look, if I see that, you gotta leave. If I wake up in the morning and that bunk, I see it, you're fucking moving. You better hide it, put a coat hanger on it, or something, put your coat over it. I don't give a fuck. I do not want to see it, motherfucker. Dick turned me on. I definitely don't want to see yours. It's like women who breastfeed. I'm bro fucking sucking. My titties turn me on. I'm fucking breastfeed. Stupid as shit ever. I'm just saying, y'all don't even think about shit I think about. That's why I'm me. I ain't got no problem with it. Every day, you take be mad. People be mad. Y'all be mad every day. Y'all be mad. Mad in the morning when you get up. Shit, bad because the alarm clock went off, but you set that bitch. I'm always going off that six. <laughs> Man, when you get to work, but you pick the job. You fill out the application. I'm gonna be a good person. I got all the qualifications. I'm gonna smile. Get the hair button and be mad at everybody. For no reason. Right? I'll just tell the truth. Y'all should be happy. You know, I'm always happy. Cause it's always a motherfucker I don't want to be. Okay. Right? Yeah. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? You motherfucker get up and go to work tomorrow and you see that ugly fat white bitch, you be like, oh, you know what, I'm happy I'm me. <laughs> I'm very happy that I'm me. See that nigga with one leg? I am happy that I'm me. I'm just saying, the truth is the truth. I tell the truth. What if you only had so many lives before you go to heaven or you die? We always wonder why did somebody die young? Well, maybe they run out of lives. 